I need to make sure that I'm on these things, like when the when the astronaut spawns. Uh, Cause if I am, then I think he'll glitch out. Oh shoot. Okay, that didn't work out. Okay, gotta get on it quickly, so that I'm. Yeah, as long as I'm in the air. Shit. Um, that's not good. Okay. Okay. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Yeah, let's. Shoot, I'm wasting so much wave gun ammo though. It's kind of it's kind of bugging me. Like I should not be wasting this much wave gun ammo. I mean, I only I do only have 24 shots, and I've already like pretty much burned through half of it, uh, which is not good. Wow, that was just a complete overshoot right there. Okay, I don't know if the if the astronaut dude respawned or not. Um, maybe we glitched him out, although we probably didn't. To be realistic. Why am I not going? Okay, there we go. <laughs> like, why am I? <laughs> that's such like an like a like a weird question. Why am I not going? No harm. All right, well, I pretty much got all of them except for like two, which we can take out no with the uh, with our good old uh, zap gun. Hey, your are showing. All right, yeah, guys. Um, if you want to know no how to not play zombies, definitely watch this video because this is like how to not play zombies. Um, because I should be point whoring before I shoot all the zombies with the wave gun, but I'm just too lazy, I guess. Yep, okay, I didn't glitch him out. That sucks. God damn it, I'm getting so unlucky with that crap. Uh, Alright, we're gonna try to get out of this without having to use a wave gun shot. But it looks like it's probably going to happen. Okay, that's unfortunate. Wow, the, the, the radius of the wave gun shot is actually like pretty crazy. It kills quite a few of them, I have to say. Yeah, I mean, we're doing okay, I guess. You know. Max Wave Gun. That's such a sick name. Like, what? Like, where did Treyarch get the idea to use a freaking microwave gun? That's so cool. Alright. I know that this commentary has been, like, pretty, like, gameplay-focused. Like, for the most part, I talk about the gameplay. Um, and I usually like to go off on random tangents uh, when I do my commentaries. I feel like that's just, like, the best way of doing things. Um, but I haven't really been able to because, like, I've been too focused on the game. And hopefully I can get good enough where this becomes, like, second nature and I can start, like, going off on my random tangents. Maybe you guys don't want to hear that, though. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of people who don't like it when YouTubers go off on random tangents, so... Yeah, I mean... It's like respectable if you don't like that. Sorry, Slappy. I mean, it makes more sense to go off on random tangents like Pokemon because, like, like I mean, some of the some of the time, like, what you're doing is so obvious that like there's no point in talking about it. And like, like Pokemon is like you know a game that's less about like you know like you know skill and reflex and stuff like that. It's more about like raising a team and like you know putting effort into raising your Pokemon and stuff like that and like strategy and such. Uh, so. I mean, like, talking about the gameplay all the time isn't, like, the best idea, for sure. I will, well, we're point whoring pretty well right now, which is good. Point whoring is always good. Although, that, that stupid astronaut is going to be the death of me, I swear to God. I keep saying it, and I know it's going to happen. It's going, it's going to kill me somehow. Either, like, I'm going to be trying to avoid it, and I'm going to get, like, owned by another zombie, or I'm going to be, uh, oh, out of ammo. Either that, or I'm gonna have Jug taken away from me. One of those two, definitely. Oh man. Sorry if I keep shifting in my seat. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But like, yeah. It's just tough with my recording setup, as I keep saying. Alright. Admiral Athena. Okay, interesting. That's interesting because like uh, our um our mascot is the well our girls mascot our school's uh, sports team girls mascot is the Athenas. Um, the guys mascot is the Stags. It, the, the the reason why that is is because like it used to the Stags used to be the mascot for like the entire school, but it didn't really make any sense for the girls team because you know like Stags are inherently male, so they changed the girls mascot to the Athenas, which is pretty cool. I mean, okay, we're gonna try all this. <laughs> Just turn around, just like wreck all of them with a wave gun. Okay. Where's my 
Yeah, I mean, like, like playing this again, I can totally understand why people think that zombies can get stale really quickly. Um, cause, yeah, I mean, it does get stale kind of quickly. Um, if you don't, like, keep switching up the maps and switching up the weapons and such. Like, if I were to play on Moon for, like, you know, if I were to only play on Moon, then obviously I would get, like, really, really bored of it. Um, which I think is something maybe zombies could, like, work on, you know, in, like, like, uh, when Black Ops 3 comes out, or if they decide to do, like, a standalone zombies game, that's something that they could definitely work on. Um, like, how can they make the game less stale and more entertaining? Because obviously something like, you know, zombies, which is inherently repetitive, gets stale pretty fast. Um, but at the same time, I think there's value in the game. Like, I think it's a good idea, and I think it's something that Treyarch should, like, uh, continue to expand on and continue to, like, you know, build upon. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, standalone zombies would be fun, definitely. Um, I would definitely pick up that game. Uh, although I feel like a lot of people would be uh, ambivalent about it. I feel like a lot of people would be like, eh, you know, I don't really want to get that. So, and I feel like because of that, Trey, um, there's less chance that like a like a solo zombies game will be made. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's any news regarding that. Maybe it's already been announced. Like, the, there's a solo zombies game coming out, and like, I don't know. Um, which would be odd. I, I honestly really don't think it's going to happen. I really don't see it happening. I'm actually going to go pick up some more ammo for my MP5K um, while those zombies are over there. Which might not be the best idea, but screw it. And we can run a little faster with these dudes. These dudes. I'm calling guns dudes now. I call a lot of things dudes for whatever reason. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'll start calling like food dudes. Like, look at those two dudes over there, like looking at two pizzas. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> How did I get into this topic? This is like the weirdest topic ever. <laughs> Dudes and pizza. I feel like my default topic is food a lot of the time. I mean, it hasn't really been so bad so far in my commentaries, but like, whenever I'm like in a conversation with someone or we're like, you know, talking about something, my conversations always tend towards food. Just cause like, yeah, I, I, as you guys, as I've said before, I'm like a huge foodie. Food is one of the joys of life. One of my favorite things to eat, um, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but uh, if you guys have been to BJ's restaurant, um, they have this thing called a pizookie, which is just like the greatest thing ever. Um, and I haven't had one in a while because I've been like trying to eat healthy um, uh, recently. Um, once in a while I will go like kind of crazy. Um, not even recently, like for the past year and a half I've been eating like a lot healthier, um, ever since I got to college. Um, but anyway, uh, once in a while I will go crazy and have like a reward meal or a cheat meal or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, and get, like, a crazy dessert, um, uh, and I haven't done that with the bazooka yet, but I'm waiting to, uh, I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, in case you guys don't know, bazooka is just, like, basically a giant cookie with ice cream, and it doesn't sound that great, but it's, like, the greatest thing of all time. It's a giant, super warm, like, like, perfect, perfectly warmed up cookie with ice cream on top. And once me and my friends got the bazooka party platter, which serves, like, five to six people, um, and it's just, like, one massive cookie. That's, like, one massive pizza cookie that, like, serves, <laughs> that serves, like, six people. Or something like that. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many it serves, but, um... I mean, if you're dealing with a ton of, like, teenage boys, probably, like, four people. But, um, six normal people, I should say. Uh, and, like, we ordered that, um... And the, the pizookie just, like, comes, and we, uh... It's, like, gigantic. We're all just staring at it. And then one of my friends just yells, ATTACK! And then we all attack the Pazuki at the same time. Uh, and it was just crazy. We were just like all slobbering all over the Pazuki, just like trying to, eat, trying to eat all of it as fast as we could. I'm pretty sure we finished like something that's supposed to serve six people among like, the, l like four or five of us. I can't exactly remember. Um, among just a couple of us in like, like eight minutes. Eight minutes flat or something stupid like that. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you guys have not been to BJ's and have not had a Pazuki, go get one. None of the other desserts there are nearly as good. Um, I tried, like, uh, getting another dessert there one time, um, and I actually ended up throwing up, like, the entire entire rest of the night after that. Um, so, definitely just go with the Pazuki's. And the, the dessert definitely wasn't as good either, so, yeah. Another, another uh, awesome, like, food experience, I guess you could say, is Korean barbecue, all you can eat. Korea, all you can eat Korean barbecue is the best. Um, like I've been to all you can eat Korean barbecue and Mongolian barbecue, and Mongolian barbecue is really good. Mongolian barbecue is great. Um, I love it as much as the next guy. But Korean barbecue is just like on another level. Um, at least for me, I, I love meat too. I mean, I'm like a huge meat guy. Um, like for me, with all you can eat stuff, like Korean barbecue is definitely like the top, top all you can eat thing. 
Probably followed by like Mongolian and then like sushi. I'm not like the biggest fan of sushi to be honest. Uh, just because like sushi always makes me feel bad after. I always feel like crap after eating sushi. Um, but like with Korean barbecue, I feel like crap, but it's not like you know I want to kill myself or like you know like oh why the heck did I eat just eat that much sushi? Um, it's like oh like you know I ate a little too much, but it's not a big deal. It was worth it uh, after Korean barbecue. And the same after Mongolian. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, whew, what to do next? I'm actually going to go ahead and teleport back. Um, I'm going to grab some ammo for the MP5K, teleport back, try and get some points, change the perk to Jug, um, and then we're going to come back. Uh, and I'm not really sure how helpful that will be, but uh, at least we'll have the perk as Jug. Um, oh, I didn't mean to take that off. Uh, but at least our, the perk will be Jug, so that in case the astronaut takes a perk from us, we can go back quite easily um, and regain Jug. I'm having so much trouble explaining my thought process, it's just like, ridiculous. Okay, we're actually gonna pick up Speed Cola, we might as well. Um, and we're also gonna pick up Stamina up later. Um, uh, yeah, okay, this is gonna take a lot of time, apparently. Speed Cola's gonna be tough to get. Uh, kind of. Maybe not. Yeah. The main purpose of this though is not to pull it's just to... Up, up, up! Oh, shit. Okay, that was almost bad. That was very poorly played on my part. And now we're gonna go pick up uh, stamina up. And then we're gonna go pick up. Okay, what else should we pick up? Oh, the drill! Oh crap! Uh, I can hack that. Oh shoot! It's over here, huh? Okay, uh, I can go back through the other side though. I think I'm gonna do that. I mean, at this point, I don't know if I should even worry about the drills. Um. Like, I doubt I'm ever going to... I'm pretty much going to stick in the biodome for the rest of the rest of the game. Uh, I don't really see myself going out. I don't know why I would. Alright. I'm surprised the drill hasn't hit here yet. That's kind of weird. Um, we're just going to leave that guy. I think there are only two zombies left, if I remember correctly. Hopefully the astronaut doesn't screw me over in, like, a corner or something. Because, you know, that's very possible. I think we can get the speed cola from here. I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, where is Speed Cola? Speed Cola's over here. Perfect. Or I mean stamina. Jeez. Okay, so we're fast. We have really fast reload. Oh, we're being hit by a zombie. Um, I'm going to pull these guys out just in case. Because uh, I feel like they're more useful than the MP5K. The MP5K doesn't really do anything to zombies. Uh, yeah, we'll kill this guy. Okay, we have a decent amount of points to... Um, we're doing okay on wave gun ammo, I suppose. Yeah. I'm kind of worried about the audio for the, for the recording. Um, hopefully it turns out okay. Because like I have been like moving around a crap ton. My mic is super finicky. Like It's a high quality mic, but it's really finicky. So like... Okay. Oh, there's the astronaut. Just checking for the astronaut. Um, but it's really finicky. So like if I move too far away from it, then the voice just changes entirely, I feel. Um, but yeah. Oh, that's an insta-kill. Might as well get it. Uh, that's not going to happen. Never mind. Okay. Just waiting on the, uh, I guess I could try to kill this, this thing, uh, while I'm waiting, because ammo is only 500. Yeah, we'll try to kill it. Die, Admiral Athena. That's a pretty funny name, pretty cool name. Nice alliteration there. Oh, I'm so educated, I'm sure you guys like my, uh, my term. So, uh, plebeian. I'm not really even sure what plebeian means. It's just like it means like elitist, I think, or something. Like, I don't know. Or no, it doesn't mean that at all. What am I saying? No! Oh! 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 Oh my gosh! Oh! I almost had a heart attack. Okay, guys, I need a little break after that. I'm gonna take a break, and I'll cut it out, and I'll be back in a sec. Ooh, calm down, bro. Okay guys, I'm back after nearly having a heart attack, my gosh, um, and we are ready to move on to the next round, that was really close, oh my gosh, freaking tripping all over the place, uh, and I did change up my setup a little bit so that I'm like slightly more comfortable, um, still kind of uncomfortable, it's like not as bad as before, uh, so hopefully I won't be like suffering as much while playing, I also did up my audio a little bit because I was watching the playback and it seemed to be a little low, hopefully it's like not super staticky now, um, oh crud, that was close. Right. I'm gonna try to get through these rounds a little faster for you guys. Um, yeah, I mean, point whoring is important, but 
Uh, we're gonna focus on killing the, zomb killing the zombies as quickly and efficiently as possible right now. All right, yeah, I mean, I'm back to that food discussion from before. Um, other than like a uh, sushi, Korean barbecue, and um, uh, uh, Mongolian, uh, oh shoot, maybe I should stop talking about food while I'm playing zombies, otherwise I'm gonna freaking die. Um, but yeah, I mean, some of my other favorite foods, like I am also like a huge fan of fruit. Um, like, I don't know, this is kind of a weird conversation to have during zombies because like you know, eating and zombies doesn't mix. But anyways, like uh, I'm also a pretty big fan of like fruit. Um, like, uh, I really like mangoes and, like, raspberries, and I eat, like, a ton of those. Um, let me know what your guys' favorite food is in the description. Uh, or comments, jeez. It's, like, obviously different from the de description. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Because I love, I love hearing about other, what other people think, they, uh, think about food. Because I feel like people's thoughts on food are, like, always so different from each other. Like, like all my friends, like, like completely different things for me. Um, like... My, like, specific tastes are definitely very unique, like, compared to other people. Um, yeah. I mean, there, I know there are a ton of people who, like, hate Korean barbecue, for instance, and, like, that's just, like, completely dumbfounding for me. I just cannot even, like, fathom that, because Korean barbecue just sounds so good for me. Pretty much I go there, and I just order, like, a ridiculous amount of bulgogi. Um, they're, they're, me and a friend love the bulgogi. Uh, if you guys don't know, don't know what bulgogi is, then look it up. Um, but, uh... Uh, uh, me and my friend just like order a ridiculous amount and there was one time when we had like three plates of bulgogi like we had a double order and like two extra plates of bulgogi on our thing and we asked the server for more bulgogi and he just like looked at us and was like you guys do realize you have like f equivalent to four servings on your thing and I was like okay fair enough fair enough um, yeah which was pretty funny oh crap that was almost that was almost bad okay uh, how many zombies do I have spawned in? We definitely don't have all 24, it doesn't look like it. Wow, okay. Ouch, ouch. Alright, I think it's time to kill them. Die, zombies. Wow. That's so epic. Yeah, I missed one of them. But it's not a big deal, we just take care of them with the MP5. Oh. Oh, got him with a knife. Solid. Okay. Extra 130 points there, which I'm not going to complain about. You're definitely not going to hear me complaining about. Basically, my recording setup right now, I have like a ton, my mic is stacked up, stacked up on a ton of books, which is kind of weird. Um, but it's working. I mean, I'm like trying, I need to elevate the mic because otherwise like it wouldn't be level with my mouth and it wouldn't record. Um, so that's how I'm doing that. Maybe I should get a mic that I can like attach like a headphone set like on top of my head. I feel like most mics you can do that, but... Yeah, I don't know. This isn't like actually like a, a a good mic for like you know recording commentary necessarily. I think it's supposed to be a mic that's meant more for like singing um, or like you know recording like you know vocals or something for a song. Um, because like it came with a like uh, my dad got me like a present a while back um, for like recording uh, music and like guitar stuff. Um, which I do play guitar, by the way. I haven't been playing lately, though, uh, which kind of kind of saddens me. I really like guitar. Um, it's just been too busy with school, and, like, this channel's been taking up a lot of time recently. Um, and I'm definitely going to try and get back into it. Uh, I mean, th I only recently started the channel, uh, like, relatively. Uh, so it's been a lot of work recently. But I'm definitely going to get, uh, once things, like, are more up and going with the channel, I'm definitely going to get back into guitar. Um, anyways, I digress. Uh, the mic was bought with that, so I think it's more meant for recording vocals, you know, um, since it did come with, like, a guitar recording set, I guess you could say. And who knows, maybe I'll post uh, some recordings of me playing guitar on the channel. I'm not really that good, though. Uh, I mean, I'm not, like, complete trash, but I'm not, like, you know, like, uh, some monster guitarist. I'm no Kirk Hammett or anything like that. Uh, there, there are some people who would say that Kirk Hammett isn't, like, an amazing guitarist, though. Which, I, I don't know if you can say that, but, like, I mean, I don't know. Marty Freeman is another great guitarist. Um, I hope I hope I'm like remembering his name correctly and I'm not just like stupid. The the, the guitarist from Megadeth. Um, Tornado of Souls is an awesome song. If you guys um, do have not like checked out bands like Megadeth, Megadeth and Metallica, um, you should check them out. I mean, I know that like I feel like people are like uh, very they seem very apprehensive about metal, but I'm there's a lot of metal. I mean, the metal that I like to listen to, um, and I'm not like metal isn't the only thing I listen to. Uh, but like, you know, metal's not a bad genre of music. 
I mean, I wouldn't consider like death metal or death core or whatever, like, like even music. Really, I'm not talking about that stuff. I'm talking about like you know, like Big Four, Megadeth, Metallica, um, Slayer, and Anthrax, that kind of stuff. That's really good music, in my opinion. What kind of music do you guys listen to? Um, I listen to like, I mean, my favorite bands like Breaking Benjamin, who I'm very sad broke up. Uh, or not really making music anymore. Um, Breaking Benjamin, uh, Three Days Grace is really awesome. Uh, of course, Metallica and Megadeth are classic. Ooh, that was the last one. Perfect. That was a pretty short round. That was a pretty short round. Uh, if the rounds keep going like that, I'll be happy. Um, we don't have MP5K ammo. I don't know if I want to go back. I might go back in, like, in between in between the round. Um, but yeah, uh, um, as I said, Breaking Benjamin, Three Days Grace, um... Lincoln Park, some of their older stuff is really good. Their newer stuff sucks, in my opinion. I hate it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that that kind of stuff. I mean, like, uh, generally harder stuff. I also listen to, like, you know, classics, like, you know, Zeppelin, uh, Sabbath. Sabbath's awesome. I love Sabbath. Uh, Iron Maiden's cool. I haven't listened listen, listen to them that much, um, which su surprises a lot of people, considering my musical interests. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, you should definitely listen to Iron Maiden. That's something you would like. Um, uh, and I have heard, like, some of their songs, but I don't listen to them as much as I should, probably, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's point her a little bit. Okay. Every time I use a gun and I ADS, it's very difficult for me, difficult for me to like commentate over it. Wow, this is turning into like a very interesting commentary. Like, <laughs> talking about food. I mean, obviously you have the zombie stuff. Then talking about food, talking about like you know music. Yeah. I mean, I prefer, as I said before, I prefer commentaries with, like, random tangents. I feel like it makes for, like, more entertaining stuff. I mean, if I'm talking about zombies the entire time, then it gets kind of old. I mean, zombies just kind of provides a good backdrop for me to, like, you know, talk over, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah. I'm the star of the show. You guys should listen. I don't know. That was, very, that was a very weird thing to say. I don't actually think that. I was, like, totally kidding. Um, we are running low on wave gun ammo, which is bad. I might have to go in between rounds and, like, scavenge for some ammo. Or not, like, scavenge for some ammo, but, like, um, like, try and get a new wave gun. If we could get a max ammo here, that would be phenomenal. That would be, like, absolutely phenomenal. Oh, yeah, we're out of ammo with this thing. I don't know why I'm pulling it out. No, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, but the only issue is, I totally forgot, the wave gun wonder weapons don't give power up. So, yeah, that's the whole issue with the uh, wonder weapons. So like yeah, I'm killing them pretty quickly right now, but the issue is that like I'm not getting any power ups, yeah. Okay. Um yeah, I mean maybe I should just worry about like trying to get to like a decent round right now. Um I should just worry about the next round in line, probably. Yeah. Maybe if I kill a couple of the MP5K one will come out. A power up will come out. I don't know. It's very, like, difficult to say that that's going to be max ammo, though. The Gersh device, though, does give, um, max ammo, which is nice. Uh, so hopefully that will be helpful. Up. Oh. Okay. Alright. The ray gun would actually be kind of useful at this juncture. Um, I might want to get it, actually. Because the MP5K is, like, decent for point whoring, as I've said a couple times. But, like, you, in terms of killing the zombies and being able to get power-ups, which are... I mean, max ammo is the only power-up that I really need. But it, I won't be able to get max ammo, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say, if I don't get the ray gun. Because uh, the MP5K just doesn't really kill the zombies. It just, like, gets you a ton of points. Um, but then if I do that, I'll have to go back and upgrade the MP5K again, which would be a complete pain. Oh, I should get Mule Kick. That's what I should do. I think I'm actually going to get that. Yeah, that, that solves all my problems... Oh my gosh, that was close. Was very close. Yeah, I'm gonna grab Mule Kick, actually. That, that's that's a perfect solution. Because, like, I can't die. Uh, I mean, I can't be revived again, so r losing weapons isn't, isn't, like, an issue. Okay. I mean, I suppose that's, like, the one good thing about losing all your weapons, if anything. Ooh, we're running really low on ammo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up Mule Kick, and then... Although, switching between weapons with Mule Kick is really annoying. That's the only thing. Nuriani, what a name. Some of the names of these astronauts is just weird. I, I, I think they take it from your friends list or something. I, 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 don't, I don't know how they generate them. Maybe they generate them from like random Xbox Live players. I have no idea. Speaking of which, I still don't have a, I don't have an Xbox Live membership right now. Which is kind of weird. Uh, yeah. I really need to get one again, probably. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Almost died there. That was close. Okay. Just kite around these zombies. Not a chance, flesh sword. I think I killed most of them, right? Yeah, I think I killed almost all of them, uh, except for this guy, uh, who we can just kill with a wave gunshot. Yeah, we're running kind of dangerously low on ammo, which is not good. Um, not really sure what we're going to do. Hopefully this round is kind of coming to a close here. Oh, shoot. Got to be careful. Wow. It's just like stuff like that. I'll do stupid crap like that. I'll just like not be careful. Um... And that'll screw me over. And like stuff like the astronaut, it'll screw me over, you know. It's like the little things in zombies. Zombies, like what, well, like getting to a high round, what it ultimately comes down to is just like not screwing up and not being careless. Because I mean, if you don't make a single careless mistake, then you'll get to round, you'll get to an infinite number of rounds. I mean, realistically. Oh, well, that's not true. You also need to be lucky and get the wave gun pretty consistently and get max ammo and such. Um, well, I guess you know, like in higher rounds, you can't even kill the zombies uh, unless you're using the wave gun. Um, so it's like, I mean, you can't get power ups. Uh, you can't really get power ups when you're at that higher round, which sucks. Speaking of power weapons, uh, I kind of want to talk about the winner's howl. Um, I mean, that weapon has always bugged me so much because I feel like the concept is great. The concept is phenomenal. Um, and from what I've seen in the Ice Staff, the Ice Staff does a better job than the Winter's Howl of, like, the same thing. Um, I mean, the Winter's Howl is probably more powerful, but it doesn't really come with much ammo. I don't know. But, like, the concept is really cool, but it's just implemented terribly. I don't, I don't exactly know what it is. I can't really put my finger on it. But something about that gun, that it just does not work. It's just really not a good gun. Um, which saddens me, because, like, the concept is good, um, but it's just not a good one weapon. Okay, we're done with that round. I'm hoping that our ammo will last us through the next round and we can get to round 31, then make a crawler at the end of that. Um, ooh, should I pick up a real kick like right now though? I don't really know. Where is, um, ooh, the box is right here. Yeah, I can run around here. Oh, I took my mask off. I didn't need to do that. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get mule kick right now and try for the ray gun. Cause the ray gun would be really useful at this juncture, actually. Um, yeah. These things are going to be the freaking death of me. I hate them so much. I'm going to try and take him out with a zap gun. Um, okay, we do not need to pick that up. There's no need. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, darn it. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, looks like that was it. Um, that's it. I mean, uh, you guys get to see my spectacular tag there again. The COK. Um, but anyways, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't bad. It wasn't my best performance. Um, but I suppose we did better than in the previous session during Ascension, which was only 28 rounds. Uh, 30 rounds is a little better. Um, I did have a kind of epic clutch in there, which was pretty cool. Um, but other than that, things... Uh, other than that, I guess I could improve on my zombie skills a little bit. Um, I will definitely try and do better next time. Uh, next session, I'm probably going to do either Call of the Dead or Kino, Kino Der Toten. We'll see. Um... Alright guys, well anyways, as usual, thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, the comment question of the day, we're not going to have it, have it do with zombies. We're going to have it do with food. Um, what is your favorite all-you-can-eat experience? Uh, is it Korean barbecue? Is it all-you-can-eat uh, Mongolian barbecue? Is it sushi? Um, or is it something else that I didn't mention there? Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.